The Sleaze right now, presented by McDonald's. Best part about working at McDonald's is the people. Oh, you want to talk about sex first or uh, Beetlejuice 2? Oh, sex over Beetlejuice always. Have you ever played that game Truth or Drink? No. We should, we should play it on the show sometime. <laughs> no, Kristen Cavallari talking about having the best sex with her boyfriend, Mark Estes, who's 24. But they played Truth or Drink with some tequila shots and talked about their sex life. Are more mature women better in bed? <laughs> um, you guys are asking me if she's better in bed. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're the yeah, like the best sex I've ever had for sure. Aww. I like that. Oh, okay. I actually didn't know that. You've never said that to me. I just thought you would assume that. Yeah. Oh, sure that makes me happy. That was another question. Let, let me ask that back. Am I the best sex you've ever had? Yeah. I think sex for women just gets better as you get older because I think women when you're in your early 20s and stuff you're like so you're like insecure in a lot of ways you're like worried about your body or like what I look like or we're like I've let all of that go and I think I'm more present physically during sex than I've ever been I'm also so wildly attracted to you and I think we just have like really hot sex yeah and I think also being like because I'm so like obviously so in love with you so that helps Yeah. I think like having sex with someone you're in love with a lot yeah, it's, is way better. I felt like I was in the bed between them hearing this conversation. <laughs> she started talking like a valley girl. What? Totally. Listen, it's lasted a lot longer than I thought. Yeah. The sex is good. Get well, Elton John. You know, he's recovering after a severe eye infection that left him with limited vision. I don't know if you heard about that, but he said over the summer, I've been dealing with a severe eye infection. Uh, He said in a statement on Instagram, I'm healing, but it's extremely a slow process and it will take some time before sight returns to the impacted eye. Wow. Dude, that is serious, especially. I mean, he's nearing 80. That was super serious. Uh, Beetlejuice 2, Barnes, I know you're going to the theater Friday, right? You're going to be like the first one in line? There is zero chance of that, but what's happening? Well, I just have to say Tim Burton got, you know, his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. But it was kind of a little reunion. Michael Keaton was there, Monica Belushi, Winona Ryder, Danny DeVito. And I love Winona. She was like, when I met you, I was a weird kid. You affirmed my voice. You reinforced my confidence to be myself, to go against the tides of conformity. I got a warm heart when I saw that. Beetlejuice 2 opening this weekend. Um, Are you ready for, Barnes, are you ready for Talk to a? What the hell is happening with this? Yes, Haley Welch, better known as Hawk to a Girl, is launching a podcast. Yeah, she's just getting started, baby. I have a little trailer for you, Barnes, a little commercial. Yes, for the podcast, Talk to a. This is everywhere, and I, I really feel like now we're victims of, if we rewind all the way, that this whole thing was a setup, and somehow she is a plant. But it, could it be? Well, because I just don't see any substance when you see all the clips of her in social media doing whatever. She's doing nothing. Her first guests, Whitney Cummings and Josh Richards. Oy. She's literally doing anything to stay relevant. Does anyone actually give a f- about her? We made the wrong person famous. Your 15 minutes are up. Your joke was funny for two days. Stop. Y'all really thought I was done? I'm just getting started, baby. <laughs> It's one move in bed that makes a girl go crazy. I'm Haley Will. A little while ago, my life took a complete left turn and it changed forever. And along the way, I've realized that everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Well, now it's my time to talk. And Pookie. Who is Pookie? Who is Pookie? He may stop by too. Check out my podcast every week, Talk to Her, where I'm sitting down with the coolest guests and having actual conversations with them. I've never seen someone extend their 15 minutes more than she has. I, she's pretty smart. Starting September 10th, will you be listening to Talk To Her? I'm going to have to listen as a show assignment, I'm sure. But whoever jumped on her, I just would love to interview them and go, what did yeah. you see with this yeah. girl who basically gave you a BJ move? And, and now has a podcast. And now has all kinds of money. I didn't see this coming. Demi Moore? Got shingles and lost 20 pounds while filming that movie, The Substance. Leslie, shingles doesn't care. Yeah. (laughs) You like those ads? Shingles doesn't care. A very painful rash. But man, she's talking about how painful it was 
But this movie, The Substance, listen to this. It follows a fading celebrity, she's playing herself, who decides to use a black market drug, a cell replicating substance that makes you younger and a better version of yourself. That actually looks really good. That's in theaters September 20th. It got a massive standing ovation. I don't know if it was the longest one, but it was like one of those 15-minute ones. Unbelievable. I look forward to seeing that. But this is a good time to say, if you have not received, if you're 50 and you haven't done the shingle shot, you should do it because I hear that getting it is 50 times worse than the actual shot, which you have to get twice and hurts like a mother. Have you done it? Barnes is giving like a CDC recommendation. I'm giving a shingles. Get in there in Publix and just say, hit me. It feels like someone jackhammers your arm. But apparently that's better than getting shingles. Just saying. Get well, Demi Moore. That is your celebrity sleaze.